The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. Our first reading is taken from the book of Sirach. One who keeps the law multiplies offerings. One who follows the commandments offers communion sacrifices. Proof of gratitude is an offering of fine flour. Almsgiving, a sacrifice of praise. To abandon wickedness is what pleases the Lord. To give up wrongdoing is an expiatory sacrifice. Do not appear empty-handed in the Lord's presence. For all these things are due under the commandment. The offering of the upright graces the altar, and its savor rises before the Most High. The sacrifice of the upright is acceptable. Its memorial will not be forgotten. Honor the Lord with generosity. Do not stint the first fruits you bring. Add a smiling face to all your gifts and be cheerful as you dedicate your tithes. Give to the Most High as He has given to you, as generously as your means can afford. For the Lord is a good rewarder. He will reward you seven times over. Do not try to bribe him with presents. He will not accept them. Do not put your faith in wrongly motivated sacrifices. For the Lord is a judge who is utterly impartial. In our response from Psalm 50. Gather to me my faithful who sealed my covenant by sacrifice. The heavens proclaim his saving justice. God himself is judge. Listen, my people, I am speaking. Israel, I'm giving evidence against you. I, God, your God. It is not with your sacrifices that I find fault, those burnt offerings constantly before me. Let thanksgiving be your sacrifice to God. Fulfill the vows you make to the Most High. Honor to me is a sacrifice of thanksgiving. To the upright, I will show God's salvation. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Peter took this up. Look, he said to the Lord, we've left everything and followed you. Jesus said, in truth, I tell you, there is no one who has left house, brothers, sisters, mother, father, children, or land for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, who will not receive a hundred times as much houses, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and land, and persecutions too, now in this present time, and in the world to come, eternal life. Many who are first will be last, and the last first. The Gospel of the Lord.